Hey guys, so this is a quick review of the Hooke's Law experiment that we perform in the Physics 1 lab. So in this experiment, the aim of this experiment is to measure the value of k of this uh, spring, where uh, k is the spring constant. So there are two parts of this uh, experiment. In the first part, what you'll do is you'll hang masses with the spring, okay? and measure the extension of the spring. So if let's say this is the initial length of the spring, okay, and then you hang a mass, okay? So this is the new length. So let's say that the initial length is L0, the new length is L1. So L1 minus L0 is the extension of the spring. So L0 is fixed, the initial length, and you will keep on adding masses. The way you do it is by using these gaps. So you'll add Keep on adding masses and measuring the uh, uh, and measuring the extension of the spring as a result of adding these masses, and then you will make a plot of. Uh, let's let's see what you have to do. So you're gonna measure the mass. Okay, so the mass won't be given to you. The, you have to measure the mass uh, of those hanging masses. Okay, and uh, then you multiply that with g to get uh, the weight, because weight is mass times gravity. And x, so, so you'll make a table in which you, the third column is the extension of the uh, spring. So, so the equation for this case, since <clears throat> the mass, the, the, the system is in equilibrium, uh, it's a static system, it's in static equilibrium, so the force of the spring is equal to the weight of the hanging mass. So the equation that you get in this case is mg equals kx naught, where mg is the weight, okay? So kx naught is equal to the weight, okay? From Newton's second law, the net force is zero. The upward force balances the downward force. Okay, so when you so you have to make a plot of this on the y-axis, this on the x-axis. So when you do that, you will get uh, of course it's a linear relationship. So uh, when you plot this in Excel, you get um, and you uh, draw the fitting line. So the slope will be in this case uh, equal to k. Okay, because of the linear relationship. In the second part, what you'll do is you're gonna, uh, the first part is static, the second part is when you oscillate the mass. So what you'll do is again start with one mass and then oscillate this mass. You can either pull it down uh, uh, or you can also raise it a bit, okay? So uh, in both of these cases, remember one oscillation. So when you pull it down, one oscillation is when it, when it comes back to that same position. So let's you start over here. This is one oscillation, okay? <clears throat> so, so then you're going to measure the time of 10 oscillations and for each mass, so you're going to hang different masses. For each mass, you're going to take three readings for 10 oscillations. Uh, and then you're going to um, take the mean of this and then divide that by, uh, remember the time period, let's write that down. So the time period is going to be the mean time divided by Okay, so where the mean is uh, T1 plus T2 plus T3 divided by three. Okay, so that's uh, obvious, right? So, <clears throat> so then uh, this is the time for 10 oscillations. When you take the mean and divide it by 10, you get the time for one oscillation. Right? This is the time for one oscillation. And then you square that. This, this column is just the square of this, okay? So once you have that, you're gonna make a plot of t squared versus the mass, okay? And why do we do that? Because the time period of the spring is equal to two pi times square root of uh, m over k. And then when you square this equation, you get t squared equal four pi squared divided by k times m. Now we're gonna plot t squared versus m, so it's a linear relationship. When you plot t squared versus m, you get a line. And the slope of this line is four pi squared over k. You can easily get the value of k uh, for this part uh, by using the slope that you get from Excel, okay? So that was the second part. Um, and yeah, this is it for the experiment. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. This was the Hooke's Law experiment that we performed in the Physics 1 lab. Thank you for watching, bye.